Oh, it's, I thought it was like starting in late, but it's not. It's actually just starting in the, like, really close to the beginning of it. All right, Lost Soul. Um, Hotachi did do better at Evo, if I recall correctly, but I think that Lost Soul ran into more, more difficult uh, opponents. So I, I think. I mean, they're they're definitely top two for Elfelts in the U.S., and they're both extremely strong to the scene in general. So uh, I think when I saw Lost Soul in this top eight, I, I expected him to win it. It was either going to be him or Marlon Pie. In my, in my opinion, they're just both really strong. Grover, however, Grover's been doing really well uh, lately as a as a venom player actually it's just overall like really strong uh, anime player so that's always really good to see i always like to see people do better in respective games uh yeah great player i love watching i love watching his venom it's very clean here you go he goes for the setup after this i like this this is fine but he gets fight that was so clean hold on God damn it. Lost Soul is so smart. He has he has a way of thinking about his the tools that opponents have, unlike anybody else. So like what he does here. Alright. So he goes for a setup and set, and then he blocks Big Ball and then blitzes the uh, follow-up afterwards with the YRC and then he gets out of it. That was so smart. But then he gets hit by the ball afterwards and Yep, yep, yep. Uh, another blitz. He smartly goes low. I'm just trying to find my way. So these are long rounds. There, RC should do it. Venom doesn't have a lot of guts. Wow, I'm so surprised. There you go. That's cool. All right, let's move on. Oh shit. All right, we're going straight into it. There you go. Yeah. Carcass Raid is, is like just the starter I always want to go to, but usually you want to do like two S Carcass Raid instead because Carcass Raid's got some decent startup. It's a great, great tool, don't get me wrong. Just as a start, you're really calling something out mad hard. And versus Lost Soul, who's, you know, he's really wily sort of button presser. I don't know if I agree with that. I like the setup. Ooh, okay, okay. Nice, yeah, he's just gonna just gonna slide out under there. Seems like Lost Soul's really looking for it. He did it earlier in this set. He was like automatic on it. Good blitz. Oh wow, he uses the burst version too. And he wire sees afterwards? Nice. That was Oh, I guess he wants to have he wanted to charge this up earlier. Oh no. Uh, I think he might have thought about it afterwards, or missed the charge beforehand. Because he, he definitely hit that 2S and then tried to do it afterwards, but then didn't get it. Anyway, good shit to Grover. That was a really, that was a really heads up play right there. Chipping out. That was smart. Yeah, Grover, Grover's really respecting Lost Soul, and, and for good reason. Nice. I love the YRC. Earns the burst for it. I think he was trying to stay burst safe, and then it just ended, didn't end up working out. I don't know Venom so well that I know like how burst safe roots work for him. Nice. Bad burst, yeah. Hold on. If you're if you're going to burst, you don't you don't burst on this slide right here. Cause once you you're you wanna burst before this slide comes out. 
basically. Because once you do that, it she's already she's already ready for this. Like she's already recovered. So there's no reason for you to burst at that point. After this, you want to you want to burst at shotgun, uh, like if you can time it right. But honestly, like bursting during shotguns, so scary. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Oh, that was sick. I like it. There you go. Wanted to switch the situation. Good throw. Nice anti-air. It's on point with that. Yeah, I'm assuming he wanted to charge on the first one, too. And he goes for the instant air combo. Alright, that's cool. That's fine. Honestly, I'll take all of this if I'm Grover. I'm in, I'm in a really good situation. You get the burst. You just want to end this as soon as possible so Lost Soul doesn't get uh, as much burst back as you'd like. Yeah, there you go. Guess about get about twenty percent burst off mostly time, so that's not bad. Good defense. There you go. Great defense. Close S anti air, and he didn't green guard on the way down. This is so important when you're this when you're this high up. So right here, so he gets anti air, and then he gets a really lucky hitbox because Jump H has got a fucking awesome hitbox that doesn't complete the combo. And then right there, ugh, that's gonna be too much of a pain in the ass. No, actually, it's not that bad. Okay. All right, so when you're getting in this situation here, like when you're above Alpha in the air, you have to green guard because this. Look at look how much damage this does, and a setup for closest anti air. You have to green guard it. It's so important. Just so much meter, yeah. Good shit. Also so strong. Darn it. Okay, there you go. Start early. Good throw. He's going for the, the 2S uh, corner carry. So there's like two setups where what Venom can do. Venom can go for the 5H into QV uh, chip setup that 310 is popularized. Or you can go for that setup, which is a corner carry setup. So that you do 2K or... It's just a good one. Was it earlier? Yeah, I guess it's start from the game. So you can so the the setup that he was trying to do is he's trying to do two uh, H into S carcass raid into an instant air dash, and that's pretty good corner carry. And he's gonna get him towards the corner, and you know obviously get to run the special venom game. Obviously three ten, and uh, a lot of the other Japanese venoms go for the QV setup. So much chip. So much chip. Look how much chip this is. Or, uh, if he's green guarding, look how, look how much green guard he loses. Boom, 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 boop, boom. Alright, look at, look at that meter. Look at that meter! Look at that meter! Look how much meter he has right now! He, he loses two bars, basically. It's so crazy. Like, that, that is one of those things that Venoms need to know how to do because it's so important. Because Venoms, the way that Venom naturally plays doesn't really go in a shit ton. I mean, there, is, there has been, like, Venoms that have been fairly aggressive players, but usually a, a, insanely aggressive players or, or Venoms that move forward a lot don't really find a lot of success. So a lot of the success you find from Venoms are people who can play neutral very well and know when to backdash and, and play it lame. So when you do setups like that... Um, he still has the meter. Okay. So when you do setups like that, it's super good because you basically spend 25 for them losing 50, and you get to make up that gap of you not having... Uh, you not getting as much meter because you don't move as forward as much. 
I actually don't even know if he spent the meter on that one to make the setup work better. I don't think he did, but um, a lot of the times they'll spend YRC to make it. No, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, so he basically just earned 50%. It's like, it's it's as if he baited a dead angle, basically. Like, that's the equivalent of which he is, what Grover has done here. That's how crazy it is. And that's how mad important it is to, like, to be able to do those setups. Alright, doesn't get the 6H. That's cool. Mostly fine. Nice. I like the QV there. He's mixing up his uh, his block string a little bit. That challenge was good, but then he tried to far us. I think that was a little bit cl too close to challenge of the far us. Yeah, it was too close for far us. He, 2S was uh, was a better choice there, so he got punished for it accordingly. Oh, he's trying to anti-air with that setup, but hey, he wire season it works out, and he's got... Look how much chip he's going to lose. Oh, he had a crazy setup. I know he has that setup with the uh, block string into 5H, and then it hits that ball back behind him. It hits it late, so he can follow it up. It's just crazy. Wow, he just matched with 5H. I mean, there's no reason not to. He's got full meter. Yeah, unless Venom gets like a fucking, uh, unless he has meter, he's not going to pick up from that far. Not with anything meaningful. Set up, set up. Ooh. That might be, yeah, that might be a way to get out of that setup. You just take the hit in, in late tech forward. Obviously, you can get blown up for it, but most people just sit and eat the mix up, so... Grover might have not been ready for that. Oh, he tried to 6H anti-air. That's super scary. It's so, oh my god, double head Morbid from full screen? Oh, that worked out. Good use of his meter into the throw. Oh, he was trying to bait burst. Oh, I don't know if I would have baited burst. Yeah, he knows he lost it on a burst bait. That's so unfortunate. God, that sucks. He uses it on burst bait. I don't know. Hold on. I'm going to go back to that moment real quick. What have I burst baited here? Yeah, no, he he made it. This isn't. This is a good decision. This close to health, he has that much meter after the burst. This is a really hard decision. This uh, this completely comes down to Lost Soul, um, being strong enough to hold his burst here. I don't know if there's a safe combo from throw that would have worked there. That would have done enough damage to kill anyway. I don't know Venom enough to do that. To to know the combo. Close S is pretty safe. Yeah, I have no clue. I would think maybe something like, um, maybe close S, 6P, close S set, close S QV maybe. Yeah, like, it's just, it doesn't feel like there's a good burst bait set up in the corner there. I think what, what Grover did was, was good, but what Lost Soul did was better. I think that's my final verdict on that. Good ship. Grover ain't happy. I, I don't blame him. I, to lose it on like a singular moment like that. 
Ooh, minus versus LK. Alrighty. So like old school versus new school in New York. Or uh, I don't know if they both live in New York. Old school versus new school is as opposed to the northeast, at least. Oh, I should have made some coffee before I started this. Alright, hold on. I surprised that didn't combo. Usually jump H into H set is is pretty safe. Alright, so he, he does the uh, dash up YRC disc so that he can make sure he gets the pin for free. Wow, what a rollout. And he gets the burst for it, too. That was... That's scary, because a lot of her, a, a lot of Eno's buttons hit really downward on the instant run. Or I guess a, what a micro dash would be for a, a float character or a hover character. <laughs> Wake up VCL YRC, alright, whatever. Sure. What the f- What was he doing? Did he roll? Hold on. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I think he rolled. Hold on. Yeah, he rolled. Okay. That says a little bit about how the uh, how the hitbox works, actually. That's yeah. That's the moment he gets hit right there. Boom. Boom. Put your hands in the air. Right. Uh. Yeah, strike the big tree in the corner. So good. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, that was that was smart. He used the stroke the big tree a second at time because he knew that LK wants to escape the corner with a roll, which isn't a bad idea for a hover character. It's just things like that. Like I'm really afraid he's just gonna get blown up mega hard for it. But uh, the way that I usually see LK play Millie is very squirrely. He doesn't want to. As soon as he feels like the pressure's let up, he's jumping or he's he's escaping in one way or another. Good block on the overhead. Uh, five H starter because you can RCs. I think he maybe didn't feel like he could get the the pin from far out and do a mix up. So I guess that's fine. I mean, it worked out. Yeah, that jump he was sick. Overhead, raw overhead, gets the burst. That's fine. Minus is still in a pretty big si Oh, well, nope, not anymore. Yeah, LK does not feel comfortable. He got really lucky there. Oh, he definitely could have done something about this. Alright, hold on. So he gets this. He gets the tech because he doesn't get the knockdown. So that, does that mean that he did it too high? Or is it just simply that she's a floaty? No, I think uh, he did it too early and then he got hit by disc. I think what happened is that he did it too early and then he got hit by disc. So he, 
So this it, TK um, TK Bad Moon. I don't recall, but it does two or three hits. No way it does four. So then he has to have gotten hit by the disc because this is the only way he would have recovered in time. Doing it that high would ensure that he would get a knock knockdown out of it. So then at this point, he didn't. I guess he didn't recognize it, or he's mashing recovery or something, because he definitely could have gotten out of this if he recovered, or if he knew. Man, fucking the VCL. All right. Nice, nice pickup after the JD. That con that that setup's really hard to block with because you really want to block the JD afterwards, and you think that they're going to be out of options, but it almost usually never happens. Pretty good. That's what he wanted last time. Yeah. All right. LK has been showing off these new setup or these new corner carries on his uh, on his YouTube channel. And if you're playing Milia, you should definitely learn these because it really it it's the best of what Rev Two Milia ends up being because he gets these. Look at that mid screen pickup. That's so sick. So everybody complaining about how Milia's pin now it's much more difficult to use and that if you use it in mid screen that you you lose pressure you lose good pressure of course lk is the one who figures out that there's a mid screen pickup combo that you can do and this was always my thought about milia is that people are just going to learn how to play this milia better i think overall this character is stayed about the same That combo is not easy though. Definitely takes some time to to be good, and it was really strong improvisation from LK right there. There you go, much better from LK. More calm on the defense. I don't like, I don't like how far minus went back on this though. So he's here. He backed up all the way. Look at that. you just let you just let her out. Instead of trying to stay at that uh, the HCL range where he could have clipped her out of something, I, don't know, I just don't see a use for for Eno to be this far out. If he does note, he can just jump, pin, and hit her. And he just runs up six P, which is really good now. Six P actually got buffed in in Rev Two, so doing up like run up six P is not a bad idea. Nice. All right. Doesn't get the combo this time. Uses the wrong pin set. That's one of the harder things about how to play Million Rev Two now is that you, learning to use what pin set when is really difficult. Oh, he tried to roll across to keep the the side, but unfortunately, he didn't get it. it was just too weird for the for the game to recognize what he wanted to do. Nice throw. Throws him out of the corner, though. Not what you want. But, uh... Players tend to throw throw with back. With Players tend to throw with four instead of six. So this is very common. Nice. Good throw. Okay. Wow. There you go. Oh, he was trying to go for the fancy combo. Well, not the fancy combo, but the combo that's... it's. I don't know. It's fine. Whatever. I don't like it on smaller characters. Yeah. Yeah. Starts out with that five. That was really smart. Knew these, these lives were getting low, so he starts out with the 5P first to pick up instead of uh, 2H or close S. So he hits this, immediately goes for that 5P. Recognizes that there's a possibility that he's going to burst here because he's low on life.
Wow, that's fucked up. That was a fucked up combo. Or a setup. Good throw. I don't ever think we saw Minus go for like a stagger pressure setup. I mean, Eno isn't the greatest at it, but she does have like better 6H. There you go, got the corner carry, set up, goes low. Yeah, I'm actually surprised he didn't, he loves Chroming Rose. Although it's worse in this version, because if you hit her out, the, the roses disappear. Maybe not a safe jump. Nice, good combo into the, into the bad moon. That was really smart. He might have been able to OTG, actually. So he gets this dash in, dash in jump H when you're above them is so good, because she just, just twirls on a hitbox. And then the combo into bad moon is uh, usually scary at most, at most air heights. That's the word I'm looking for, air heights. But um, he does really well there. And then I, he could have OTG'd, I think, for the kill. 2, 2k, 5k, 5k, 5k. But uh, gets away with it. Just like mini optimizations that could or could not hurt you. You don't learn until they hurt you, basically. Good start. Uh, I missed the quarter circle forward H. Oh, he put himself in the corner. That's not good. Yeah. You know 6H is a lot better in this version. Fuck, is it five frames? Let me check real quick. Six inches just five frames. God damn. Kills the pin. Jump P. You know, jump P is so good. Now you use it. I'll take that trade if I'm Eno. Honestly. It keeps LK in the corner. But. He doesn't do anything with it. Hold on. One second. What was he looking for there? Huh. Sorry, I just got some food. I got a burger. I fair, I just told my doctor I don't eat a lot of fast food. Okay, hold on. Let me start this round again. Yeah, and then he immediately goes in, like, not thinking that LK is going to be squirrely. I don't know. I feel like you should have had a better read on the, on the defense here. You, he's going to want to burst, yeah. Okay. Does this? I don't know why he does this. Am I not looking at Eno? I think I'm looking at LK too much when I'm when I'm looking at this. Oh, he is expecting another stroke of the big tree. I don't want to. I wouldn't do this for that. I am almost certain he can go under disc. 
Oh my god. Yeah. Good shit, okay. Just told my doctor. I was like, I eat healthy. Good job, Okay. I always love watching him play. Scientist. Oh, brackets. Oh, shit. Good shit, Flux. RF already in finals? Oh! Good shit, Flux. I didn't know Flux played... Still played GG. I think he played a little bit, didn't he? Oh. Alright, Sway. Mr. Muscles. I'm like... That's, uh, Manny. Is she... Is Jam still looking to buy a restaurant in this game? Are you serious? That was a, yeah, that was a tech forward setup, the tech forward button setup. So he's going to do this. I think going for the OTGs. I think that a lot of OTGs make it way too obvious, but I think the only way that setup works is that if he does it that way. So, good, um... Good patience is what I wanted to say. I'm really bad at, like, uh, working with those angles as Raven. Hmm. Did he need three levels? Hold on. I think he has level three. Or, I mean, um, I think he has, huh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I didn't know if he needed to do the scratch, so he gets his hit, I think he's got three levels out of ten, this is my estimate, I'm not exactly sure how the damage to levels ratio works out. Done with that burger. Back to this. So here, I don't think there was any way that Manny actually thought this was going to kill. So I would have much preferred him to end with 2D into ball. I think TSB is feeling... Uh, TSB... I think Blaze is feeling it a bit. Manny's feeling it. Threw him out of the corner though, that's the only thing I didn't like. Um, this is really good. Here. Goes low again. Goes for the setup. And then he just does, um... He just run up back throw. And the reason why he does that is because... He does immediately, like, he immediately gets the throw. And the way that he does it is that so he can kill momentum, he does he hits four in order for him to make sure that he's not getting a six age. And that way, um, what's that called? He's making sure that he, if he's going to do a move, 
he's not going to do the move that will kill him, which is the long, the long startup move six H. That's the reasoning why he got a back throw. However, it still threw him out of the corner, and as a Raven player, that sucks. You want you want the opponent in the corner, obviously. Yeah, commentator said it for me. They're both they're both very experienced players. Jumps from throw. If you're gonna jump a if you're gonna jump a command throw like this, and this goes for like almost every game, if you're gonna jump a command throw, it jump it forward, just punish them. There's no reason to jump back on a command throw because you're not gonna get anything unless you have some magical option where you get to back jump back and do this. Because this doesn't get you anything. You made a great read here. You made a read on the command throw. And this is great, so you don't take damage. But when you make a read like this, you have to punish. You're basically just letting the Raven go for free. And if he, if he PRCs and punishes you, then fine, whatever. But he could have PRC dash up and, th and punished you anyway. So this goes for like characters with like people who play in Street Fighter, especially. I know a lot of people like they complain about Geef and Laura and the characters that have command grabs. They're like, oh, they have command grabs. Fucking, I I jump back and then I can't punish them because they were like, all right, well, you know, command grab characters need to be in crush counter state or uh, in counter state in order for this command grabs to be balanced. It's like because they all used to jump back and not be able to get a punish on a command grab. It's like you not only pushing yourself farther towards the corner. You're also not punish them for a command grab on a read. What if you just neutral jumped? There you go. What you jump forward, you might have shoved them towards the corner. This thing is I never understood. But yeah, that's something you do. Jump forward. Regular jumping in, in Guilty Gear is actually a, awesome. No one ever does it though. Okay. Gets the throw. Another dash up YRC throw. I think he's catching Sway Nervous. Does he have no levels before this? He has no levels before this. This is fine. So he does. He goes into the super so he can get five levels. So he's going to be at uh, level two, if I recall correctly. Because it's like zero to one. Something like zero to one. Oh, it's like 0 to 2, 3 to 5, and then 6 to 10, or something like that. I'll look it up real quick. Yeah, I feel like... I feel... I feel like Sway is nervous. Yeah, I think this... I think him gathering his thoughts here pretty much confirm it. Confirms it for me. I feel like he's he's nervous. Okay, here, hold on. Let me go over this real quick so I can... Alright, so yeah. He has, so he has the three excitement stages. He has this one, which is 0 to 2. Uh, he has the smiling face, and then he has the tongue face. For the... Here. The Alphonse Elric meter. The super... The super does... Gives you five levels. So basically, it puts you immediately at level 2. Uh, Scratch gives you one, and Command Grab gives you three levels. There's stages, I should be referring it to this, so there's stage one, two, and three. Stage one is levels zero through two, stage two is levels three through five, and then stage three is six through ten. So doing a super in the combo, the dash, that dash super where he does the pose afterwards, mm -hmm. um, gives him a level five, so immediately puts him stage two. It's actually should be talking about it that way because saying levels for both of them is extremely confusing anyway so that's why he did that afterwards and also corner carried and put it towards the corner there's a lot of reasons but the, the levels one is pretty big close ball wire see uh i'm not a big fan of that because it's ball is super slow even with yrc wow wake up reusion yeah sway is nervous 
Uh, yeah. I, I mean, it's just, like, this is the matchup knowledge thing of, like, you can't charge full screen versus a Raven. Even if you wire C. Like, what did you get out of this? Here. So, I mean, you just look at, look at the next, like, ten seconds of this match. From here. And this is not even him just, like, not, uh, doing the proper defense. This is him just giving the Raven the opportunity to get back in, even if you YRC. Unless you like YRC DP'd or something like awesome like that, or YRC 6P, I don't agree with this, because you didn't even get to use the card. If you're going to burst, or if you're going to call card in this matchup, you have to call it when he's knocked down, and he can't chase you down. Man, the mega late jump H. Man, he's so good at playing playing with his opponent on Oki. I mean, you have to be his Raven. All right, jam time. Wow, wake up, super. And that was just a great read. He doesn't want. He knows that Sway hasn't done. Oh my God! What an asshole. That's really how you're gonna kick Sway out like that? What a fucking asshole, man. God damn. Good shit. He knows, he knows that he's going to want to immediately start his pressure. He hasn't done anything the entire match. So it's like, once you get that moment when you're a player and you haven't had that match the entire time, or you haven't had the momentum the entire time, you immediately want to start your pressure. And Manny recognized that, and both times he just supered. It was too sick. God, it's fucking... <sighs> I haven't seen RF play in forever. RF used to be, like, one of the best... Faust when he was consistently playing... Which he still is, but he's also, you know... He was also got really well known as a Marvel player as well. This dude is so good at at playing on your tendencies. And back when he was playing gear a lot, like back in like AC days, man, he was the most annoying fucking Faust player. But Marlon Pie is the US representative, and we obviously want to see him do good. He's obviously played this matchup before so he should be he should be fine I don't know I honestly don't know how much RF has kept up with this game button pre, uh, button check okay there you go I think I saw something. I was tweeting something out. Okay. Tech buns. It's too good. All right, get jackpot. I always feel like that's like the the big um, schmedium faust. Feels like a nerf to to mini faust because it's just like he gets hit out easier. He's only got one hit. If he had two or three hits, I think he'd be too close to what mini pot was. And they're afraid of that, so they just made him worse? I don't know. Good start for Marlon Pie. Oh, 2H counter. Counter 2H. Nice. Way to pick up that combo. I don't think he unsummoned. I think he just got rid of. Yeah, he, he, he ran out of meter.
Oh, jackpot bomb. Get out of there. Fireworks, the fireworks is OD. It's really good. Nice. Oh. We're out of there. Yeah, I'm okay with that burst just because I feel like Marlon Pie knows that he has all the momentum. He's been really controlling the pace, even though the life is very close. It's mainly to just like little mistakes that that Marlon Pie has been doing. Oh my god, that was actually that was actually really smart. Hold on. So he gets up in the air. Jump H. Just defends the dump jump H. So he wants to go in afterwards. I just defend the dump jump H. I can go punish him now. And he just presses another jump page. RF, man. Oh my god, that was so scary. I feel like I feel like Marlon Ply lost a little bit of uh Man, what was I trying to say? I fucking completely blank. I feel like he lost, uh, lost idea of where, like, Eddie was. He was moving forward, but I think he, like, just left Eddie behind him on an accident. What a 6P! I love, I love seeing this shit. Using 6P invincibles and invincible frames in neutral like this. Boom! None of that. No thank you. Not buying what you're selling. Nice, no brew. Both the times he's gone black hole, it has not worked out. I like that burst early on. Get off me. Protect the chocolate. Meteors. Yeah. Schmedium Faust. Nice. Oh, he doesn't finish the air combo. Maybe he didn't feel like he could? Or maybe he was getting greedy? I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. I'll take that trade. Nice. Anti air. No brute. Marlon Pie is so good at just controlling space. Oh, he, all right, he killed. This is so big. Meteor jump axe. Oh, it was too obvious. I don't know if he would have died though. Uh, with no guts. I don't know he would have died. Without a double jump, I don't know if he would have died. He probably would have. He probably would have died. That was just. It's still a California burst, though. Honestly, like it was just hundred percent not worth it. Even if he did survive. Fireworks. Oh my God! He stayed in the prey log. Just let Eddie do the dirty work. What an asshole. That's an, that is not fair treatment of pets. Nice. No brew. Man, he is really making RF work for this. Jesus. Yeah, RF, I mean, he's great, but he feels like I'm really out of practice. Like, he just doesn't feel confident in the hoopty shit that he used to do. But Marlon probably played very clean there. I wanna put who put Marlon Pie in the losers. Alright, minus versus Manny. This should be pretty good. Respect, just backing off. Neither of these, neither of these characters have like a really simple way of getting in. They really do have to play off the mistakes of the opponent. God, about yeah, he's got level. He's got stage three. I should, I should practice that while I'm saying it here because it's like this is good practice for when I'm trying to say it for commentary. He has stage three now. Wait. It. I would. I mean, for that little life that he lost, I would definitely take stage three. That's totally fine. Uh, oof! No meter means no defensive options. There it is. Yeah. 
in around. You get that mix up. You get them in the corner, and then you win. Six H, nice. Don't know if he actually wanted that six H, but it worked out. Sterilization method, which is great because it just normalizes all of our combos. The way that they changed it. Yeah, success exists. It's a stupid button. Most people come up with some fucking really ingenious shit for it to exist. I haven't seen anything yet. Alright, he has level... He has stage 3, so he could have comboed with 5H instead of the 5K. But 5K is just a lot easier. Ah, oh, he read the burst! He read the burst, but after, after these three... Hold on, ah, fuck. So he read the burst here, and that's why he's going for the five Ps. But then after three five Ps, he thought maybe, oh, he's not gonna burst. Um, which at the, in in the split of the moment, I think that's like a very fine thing to think. But then he bursts anyway. So that was smart for Manny to hold it for a second longer. Fucking made it work too. Manny holding it for for, for one hit longer just. One him around. Making a case for California burst. Nice. Oof. Nice. Alright. I think he does the jump S too early there. Stance YRC. He still got level 2 or stage 2. Ooh! Did he throw him at a VCL? He totally threw him at a VCL. What a lord! He was hell already. He's just neutral jumping because he knows that Minus wants to get out like that. But uh, it's not much. I mean, like unless she's pointed directly at Raven, there's not much that Raven can do about it. His air to airs are not that good. Oh, times it on the ultimate Fortismo. Fortissimo. I'm learning Italian. So it's rough. Why didn't he RC here? Why didn't he burst? Or why didn't he spin meter? I think he just didn't think about it. But in, in the grand context, there was absolutely no reason for him not to burst or not to uh, spin the meter here. Just spin the meter. Something things you forget about. Things like you can get you killed. So, it is the, the duty of mine to bring it up. <laughs> Fucking neutral dump. Glide. Whatever. Shit that never works for Sammy, but works for other Raven players. For 500. Boom. Gripped. Nice. Now that's an answer, but you didn't pick up off it. I'm assuming he, he inputted uh, Air Dash too early, because when I play Eno, that's something that happens very often. And this is stage 3 super, so it does a fuck ton of damage. Oh, right, there's that excitement glitch. Hold on. Does he do that? Alright, so he goes, goes to the super. Right, so there's, if I recall correctly, that's how you get, use the excitement glitch. Is that if you go to the stance, and just hold it for a second, and then you get to keep it up. Oh, maybe that's not it. I forgot what it was. I should look it up again. There's an excitement glitch that lets you keep excitement. Or maybe it's because he got hit, he loses it. Nice. This is damage. Pretty good on Raven. Raven's defensive mod needs to be a little bit lower. He has the highest guts in the game. Like, there's no reason for him to have a decent. Because if I recall correctly, he's at 1.02? He's at 1.11? What the? 
a little bit better than I thought it was, honestly. It should be higher, honestly. It should be like 1.2 or something. If you keep his guts this way. I'm down to either move his defense mod up a little bit or push his gut, gut ratings down one. Either or would, have, would do it for me. This character's fucking OD right now. He's so good. Oh, he catches him at the beginning of the teleport, so he doesn't get the invincibility yet. Wow, I think he went for the throw here and accidentally just got a 5H, or a jump H. Motherfucker, come on. Bitch, work with me, hold on. Motherfucker. I think this is it. Yeah, I think he goes for a throw here, but he, presence of mind there to recognize that he didn't get it and just mash out the five Ps. That's uh, that's experience right there, honestly. That's the best way to put that. Wow, jump is over. Jumps over VCL. You don't see that. Yeah, you looked like it. Woof. The Manny Special. Just anti-air with super. Why not? Wow. Return the gold burst. This has gotten vicious. Alright. Wow. Yeah, you know, has very little guts. Or not guts, but uh, what's it called? Defense mod. I think her guts is shit, too, if I recall correctly. I think it's three. I'm just gonna say shit until it works out. Manny's playing very well. Definitely Manny's playing very well. I 100% agree with you. He has he, he he has the ability. He's really good right now at that like, dictating. She has a guts rating of one. My bad. So, yeah yeah. All right whatever. <laughs> um. Yeah no Manny's playing really well. He's he's dictating the pace of every match that he's played so far. Even that match where it got a lot closer with minus. Um, even that match, he was dictating the pace almost entirely, except for maybe the first round, where he just got he got minus got an Eno round and got three mixups in a row. All right, Gro Grover versus Marlin. I was a big fan of Grover, this play against um, LK. I thought he did really well. He played against Lost Soul, that's right. I was like, that didn't sound right. Yeah, he did very well against Lost Soul. Lost Soul is um, arguably the best player at this tournament. Yeah, once again. I usually go for 2S Carcass Raid. I just feel like there's no reason to do that over... Unless you want to c catch a jump or something. I don't know. He's better than me. Ah, uh, doesn't get the... The cancel. Nice. Drunken Shade. I I am very impressed with your resolve here because honestly if I if that was me I probably would have burst super early. No meter to dead angle and you don't have any defensive options on wake up. I 100% would have burst. Really impressed. All right, time to get rid of all this meter. Why oh, didn't get rid of any meter? Did he just take the chip? Yeah, he just took chip. I don't agree with that. 
There's no re- when you have that much meter, unless you have like a fantastic and magical plan for your 100 meter, that chip wasn't worth it. You don't get health back, but meter comes back. So there's no reason where you would have lost maybe 40% meter, so you would let you still had 50% to do shit. There's no reason for him not to green guard that. Might lose anyway. Oh, nice YRC. And then just the run up damn thing. Totally fine. And then he just gets to throw afterwards. Yeah. Good shit, Grover. I am a fan of good Venom play. Nice. I think he wanted to hit it on the way up, honestly. He totally did. He might have done the wrong... Oh, no, maybe not. I think he faked it. Which would be really interesting, honestly. It would be the sort of advanced level play that you would have to do against uh, Marlon Pie. Yeah, you're dead. Oh! Alright, use it. He, use, he uses the stance. Or, or, not stance. He uses ball set YRC here because he knows he's right over Zato, and Zato doesn't have a good anti air that's straight above his head. So, what he does is he YRCs ball set because it, it kills all momentum and then YRCs it so that he can fall straight down and then with the jump H. There's not much that. Not much that Marlon Pie can do about that. Jumps out of the carcass raid pressure. Yeah, and there's no air gatlings out of jump age, so. Oh, he tried to kill Eddie. What happened there? Why didn't he just. I feel like he had the press button. Alright. Alright, this is the old version of the combo I was talking about a second ago. It just, it's done with 2H now because it's easier. But, I mean, it works the same way, honestly. Yeah, 2H is so good. That first hit's a low. It's just crazy. You have to block that crouching first hit. And he just took an extra second to think. It would too. The type of player that Grover is. Um, I'm really happy he took the second to took an extra second thing. Nice. Good timing on the burst there. It's kind of scary because uh, I think the proration is actually too much for the instant air dash combo. So if that's the case, which I'm not sure it is, um, that was a really safe burst. If it's not the case, because bursting at any time during close S is like usually a nightmare. But he bursts a little bit after, which is why it worked out. But if you went up for a jump P and just went for like a regular air combo, which no Venoms do, so I understand why... The, what I'm saying is that the QV was definitely happening there, like 99% of the time. But as a general rule, bursting on close S is not smart, because you can just jump cancel it at any time. Here, throw. All right, this is the chip setup. What the hell? Just Come on high. Look how much life he lost. Look at look. Just look at his life. Jesus. Those chip setups are so important to hit. Fucking Amane up in this bitch. 
He's got him in the corner now. He's still got a burst, though, and he's got a dead angle. Good reversal throw. Nice. I'm just gonna go into that. Hey, fucking... OTG might have actually been in a better case there, because it would have gotten 37 individual one hits. Well, not 37, but, you know, an amount of individual one hits. I'll take that trade. Kills Eddie for it, so he gets to get pressure, ball setups. I would have spent more time setting balls here. Because you, you tried to chase him here, after you, so he gets the Eddie kill. And he tries to chase him to keep the pressure going, but he's already got him towards the corner. So there was no reason for him to, like, really start, like, trying to shoot these balls up in the air and try to shoot him down. Like, why? Zato has a ton of air control. So why instead just set some balls up so that when he gets Eddie back, you're not, you know, completely in the shitter? Because he has only one ball set now, and he has to eat all of this. It blocks, though. Oh, my God. What a throw. Scary. Nice. Doesn't block QV this time. He was trying to go for the late H setup. So you can hit, like, the, the jump H on, or the 5H on the late active frames, and that gives Venom the ability to follow up after it. Like, it's pretty much airtight. Damn Fang. Unblockable. I'm surprised he didn't wire C. Well, it's, it's, um, what's it called? It's Venom. He doesn't have a DP. Alright, so that has a little bit of invincibility. I'm not exactly how much, but it is something. Fucking chip that dude, Jesus. So he does this. I'm assuming he eats through all the meter. Eats through all the meter. Jesus. Nice. Good pickup. Recognizes the counter hit QV. Pick up 5P into 6H. Boom, boom. Grover. With a nod of approval. Yeah, I'm the shit. It is only I who can pick that up. Damn Fang, it's working out. Can't blame him for going through, going for it over and over. <laughs> Just was always ready for it with the drunkard shade. Boom, boom, boom! What a reversal throw! Good shit! Boom! Chip setups. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a complaint. That's a good stance. Oh, he just does it too close. So he, he actually shoots past it with the far S. I was like, why didn't this ball hit? He's just consistently gotten these fucking throws. It's insane. Spend this fucking meter. Hold on. Oh, you did spend the meter. Okay. Nice. Look how much fucking damage that did for three hits that started from the air. Bah. And a setup. That is a chunk. I need to do that. Nice. Good pickup afterwards, honestly. There's like this good recognition here. Drops it. Nice. Because he got the clo oh, the far S, so he just realized that he, he was going to drop it. Good recognition. Wow, he kills his little Eddie with freaking uh, H Mad Struggle. Double head morbid, full charge. Oh, wow. That was sick. I didn't know what to do off Doublehead Morbid RC. Wow. Good shit, Grover. I was thinking that because he did so well versus Lost Soul, that he was going to have the ability to take out Marlon Pie. And that was really, that was really good. Good shit to Grover.